tanks, a lot of vultures, and a couple of goliaths. And as long as he scans, that's going to be a, a fairly deadly force, e even to this uh, Arbiter force. Um, I think Crown Royal lost a few too many of his Arbiters to those Goliaths in that previous engagement. He's not going to have anywhere near the Epic Stasis. Alina Maynard is perhaps right there. And moving up with these tanks, it looks like he's pushing into Crown Royal's natural as we speak. Zealots streaming in, Zealots uh, poofing into little clumps of smoke with uh, massive tank explosion. Stasis going off again. Very, very nice Stasis on four of those tanks. But it does look like even with all of these Stasis and Storms and Arbiters and fancy-ass Micro that Crown Royal is not going to be able to hold this. A Dark Archon coming in, hopefully to do something useful. Looks like he is not casting anything. Still at full size, still at full size. Arbiter taking a whole bunch of damage to those flies. Another Arbiter going down for Crown Royal. That is the third or fourth one he's lost to uh, Goliath like that. I would not be very happy if I were him. And these tanks are going to come out of siege soon, but there are Dragoons on top of them. Another tank and some Goliath reinforcements coming in for Leunal. That Dark Archon is out of shield, so it probably cast a mind control. But I guess we missed it, because I am terrible at spotting that kind of stuff. A fifth, I guess? Not really sure what number this is, because all of them keep getting destroyed. Uh, Nexus is coming up for Crown Royal, so he is going to start uh, recovering from that, that slight base disadvantage that he has, because Leonel is knocking all over this stuff. But it does look like he's mined out of his natural. I'm surprised he hasn't mined out of his main. So... This damage by Lionel isn't really going to be that bad on Crown Royal's economy. And Crown Royal is producing... is producing tech labs. <laughs> tech labs. is producing machine shops in all of his factories. And he's got tanks coming out of all of them. He doesn't have an armory. It doesn't look like he's, he's going for upgrades. I think he thinks he's going to be able to end the game before that point. 1-1 one, one upgrades on Lionel's tanks. He's just decimating the, this expansion for Crown Royal. I don't even know why, why Crown Royal is, is trying to reinforce with, with the small numbers of Zealots just kind of running into tank fire. This is kind of stupid. Um, vultures are doing a massive amount of damage to these Zealots up here. And it looks like Leonel is coming up in the meantime with some Vultures to harass the Terran expansion that Crown Royal has going on. These Goliaths are doing a decent job of holding the ramp and keeping Crown Royal from getting down his own ramp. And tanks versus Vultures in a PVT. This is Again, awesome. Uh, invisible tanks, because of that Arbiter. Invisible tanks versus soldiers. <laughs> Best game ever. Uh, so, Crown Royal does have uh, siege tanks up, and the cool thing about siege tanks no, is uh, that not only are they invisible by Arbiters, you can recall them around in siege mode. Uh, I'm not sure how familiar you guys are with that, but that's really, really cool. Um, that essentially you've, you've got this super dropship in, in the Arbiter that can pull around siege tanks in, in their high damage mode, and we're probably going to get to see a little bit of that soon right here, because it does look like Crown Royal is coming in for a recall. whole bunch of vultures there. Those vultures aren't really going to be able to stop this Arbiter from moving in. Not very many missile turrets up at Leonel's fourth right here, and it does look like tanks are going to get recalled and very successful at all of those probes are taking a massive amount of damage as five siege tanks fires on a single SCV and takes it out right quick. Command Center is just going to get lifted, though. And it doesn't look like Crown Royal has any anti-air scans going off, so he's going to be able to engage these tanks. And th these vultures are more than fast enough to get in under the firing range of these siege tanks, so they're just getting tanked out left and right. Uh, Zelts are proving very effective backup, though. Looks like Zelts are, are able to take out these mines and, and these vultures very well. Tanks are still invisible, which is the coolest thing ever. And I, I understand that I keep saying that, but... I really feel like the point needs to get around. On the other hand, Crown Royal seems like he's at about 70 food total to to uh, Leonel's 169, which is not a very good place to be in. Leonel is still knocking out Crown Royal's main. It looks like he, he's finally killing the toss. And uh, we're going to turn this into a ZVZ right here. A two, two mining base ZVZ versus a uh, two mining base ZVZ. Or a TVT right here. I swear to God, I, I know what the races are. Um, it does look like, again, they both have two mining bases right now, because Crown Royal managed to kill all of the SCVs at this bottom expo right here. Um, so they're surprisingly easy, even in terms of economy, not very even on in terms of army. Um, and with that Arbiter Tribunal going down, it's not going to be quite as unbalanced of a TVT as it was previously. Remember that Lionel does have upgrades, and Lionel has replaced Terran, 
So those are both going to be massively, massively in his favor. Not really sure where Crown Royal is going to come back from this. Crown Royal is adding a third nexus, a, a third base in this little clump at the top right here, and he is doing a nice job of microing these tanks around mines. Looks like he's he's pushing out. This Goliath for Lionel is just going to get sniped right there, but the Goliath, the Goliath does know it's coming, and it is going to serve for a scout for this much larger clump of Goliaths. It looks like Lionel got smart, and he is adding a lot of Goliaths to his army to deal with the potential of more Arbiters. On the other hand, he, he took down the Tribute, so it doesn't look like a bunch of tanks getting lost for Crown Royal unnecessarily here. He's just uh, right-clicking into tank fire from Lionel, so he just loses six tanks without doing any damage whatsoever. Not very nice uh, scouting. He still has an Arbiter, though, and he still is keeping Lionel off of this base, so he's ahead on income, which is good. Uh, this forge is not going to burn down because it's not a Terran building. Keep that in mind. Even though this does look like a TVT, uh, one of the players is still Protoss, and he is getting up a Nexus again. So he does have the potential to switch back into Protoss tech, which probably would be beneficial. He is massively, massively, massively behind on economy. It looks like Lionel is about to food cap, and he's about to do... Yeah, he's got 2-2 two -two upgrades. His armor... One of his armies is spinning. The other one is just kind of sitting there because he doesn't have any gas right now. This uh, scout for Crown Royal is finally getting taken out after surviving 26 minutes into the game after being practically the first combat unit produced. I think he had, like, a Dragoon. And... Some vultures moving up to try to take out Crown Royal's last few tanks. Crown Royal has a bunch of tanks sieged at his, his new main, never mind. Uh, those vultures are going to do a, a very good job of allowing the rest of Lionel's forces to move up. Lionel is, is continuing to, to push up. He has taken out Crown Royal's third mining base, so it looks like we are back to... No, it looks like... Uh, Lionel only has the one mining base that he's just establishing, so he's got really bad income. On the other hand, it does not look like there are very many probes or SCVs out for Crown Royal right now. He, he's been focusing on trying to stay in the game. Recall going off, a whole bunch of tanks doing a little bit of damage to the recall in siege mode, but unfortunately the AI isn't good enough and they do not split their shots. And a quick scan goes off, allowing tanks to clean up the tanks and Goliaths to clean up that Arbiter very quickly. It looks like Crown Royal is out of combat units at this point in the game. He's got about five tanks. I don't think he can hold this off. Brilliant, brilliant play, though, with that, uh, well, awesome play, not necessarily brilliant, with that mind control and tech it up in the tanks. It looks like, uh, the decision to tech did cost him too much in terms of real macro, and he wasn't able to defeat the Legions of Terran Steel. I think I actually stole that quote off the team liquid, so, it's not mine. He was not able to defeat the, this, this massive mech army. Single zero upgrade tank sieged. Not going to do anything to Lionel's big ball of bally doom. And it looks like Crown Royal is finally being taken out of the game. He's got a single siege tank there. He's got a zealot uh, forge. And he says, I should have won this game. Yes. If the game was won on account of being awesome and not destroying buildings and mining and making units, then yes, you should have won this game, Crown Royal. And he leaves the game, no GG. So, very, very, very interesting strategy out of him. I believe th that was officially dubbed the Royal Stove, because it is the stove, but it's more royal, because Crown Royal did it. Uh, nice leave without a GG, that's very BM and awesome, and people should do that all the time. So, subscribe if you like this, if you didn't like it, leave a comment and bitch at me, and I will get better. Uh, thanks. Rambo's out.